Hey, welcome to Real Magic Review. My name is Steve Faulkner and today I'm going to review the Chris Kenner Masterclass from Vanishing Inc. Day 1. Or Masterclass Live, wasn't it? Yeah, something like that. You know what I mean. Uh, anyway, but uh, if you like and subscribe, check out cardmagiccourse.com. Have a look at that because I'm very, very proud of it. It's wonderful. It's really, really wonderful. But I would say that. Don't believe me, I made it. So have a look at the testimonials, check it out, check out a free course, uh, cardmagiccourse.com forward slash cull. Make your own mind up, but don't miss out because it's very good. It's very, very good. Anyway, uh, and share it with your friends if you like. Tell your friends about this review show because uh, more views is always good. This, uh, very special. So uh, one of my favorite magic books, uh, Totally Out of Control, Chris Kenner. Love it, love it, love it. One of those books that you read even without the cards in your hand and it's really enjoyable, it's really funny, it's well taught, it's brilliant. And what you do know about Chris Kenner is uh, if he teaches you something, you listen. Because he is someone, obviously he works with David Copperfield, Homer Leewag, uh, and various other people and um, that I don't know the names of. <laughs> but there you go. Uh, and uh, he's very, very experienced. So, you know, a lifetime of playing with cards and coins and getting to a point now where he is very honest about what he thinks works, what doesn't work, and he will say things that kind of tend to sometimes go against the grain, but I really respect it. I always remember, it was really nice to hear him say, you know, back in the day, I think I saw him at the session years ago, but he was saying, he, you know, he would stick up for people who were flourishers because, you know, doing those things kind of makes your hands go into positions that wouldn't usually, so learning normal slights after flourishing, um, you have a less hard job of it. And I totally agree. So hearing that when everybody else was kind of slating it, going, oh, it's just juggling, which I also love, by the way, uh, was good. And it's just someone that tends to, for me, speaks the truth and, and connect with me as a, as a performer as well. When I see him on stage, he's obviously very funny as well. And he, 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 all that stuff is really important. So I was really excited about this. And, uh, and it did not disappoint. So first of all, it looked great, which isn't everything. You know, some of the masterclass lives have been quite rustic and that's been fine. It's the learning that I'm into. But, you know, I mean, again, he's working with Homer Leewag, who is, you know, a great photographer, cinematographer. You know it's going to look good. And there was actually a picture on Instagram, I think, yesterday of the, of the kind of set from the back. And it looked, uh, it looked great. So it's always nice when someone makes an effort. And, uh, and it clearly was important to him. You know, some, someone who is so established uh, could get away with quite a lot, really. So the fact that there was that effort put into him and he's also um, donating the money, which was, was a nice thing, which just kind of made me... Um, want to watch it even more, weirdly enough. It, the whole thing just was very exciting. And, and I'm a bit gushy about it, but uh, Hey Ho is one of my favourite magicians. Um, and of course, he developed Free Fly and things like that. So, this was card stuff the first day. And I was like, okay, more card stuff. That's all right, but it's, but it's, um, it's Chris Kenner. And uh, I was really glad I watched this and learned from it. The first trick he did was just lovely and it was classic sort of you know looking at a concept that's quite simple but just making it look really good and he, and even doing it was simple as well it's not a difficult trick he basically had the cards face down and he was saying look you can make it look like there's more than four cards here like an optical illusion which is a genuine one and then you realize there are more cards and it it's basically it's you know it's 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 no uh, concept of the the increasing cards thing which isn't what it's called is it but there you go uh, three cards become four etc a couple of times and then there's a kicker at the end but just really clean and I know for a fact that everybody or well, a lot of people that watch that are going to be putting those cards together and going out and doing it that is just a really commercial really great trick to do that isn't just pick a card I found it so that was really good. Then he did, I'm not going to go for everything, but he did his four for four switch, which is again something actually I taught, but Ben L had a version of it, which I, Ben said I could teach on my materials DVD a long time ago. Blimey, I can't even bear to watch that now. God knows what that was like. But again, really lovely and getting streamlining, cutting out all the rubbish, making it work really, really well and actually making it easier than you think it is um, because it, 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 he doesn't overcomplicate. You know, it's 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 a beautiful move, and then showed you a few versions of that. You got cannibal cards in there, again. You know, not scared to go. This is a really simple plot. People really like it. And a little story about cannibal cards because it's got a bit of hard time. Before um, I was showing some, my brother doesn't really well like everybody that's close to me gets to a point they don't like card tricks. <laughs> Funny that. And I and he, we've got a kind of running joke where I show him a trick and he goes, "Oh please no," and. Uh, 
And I try something out and I do a trick or whatever. And I think he secretly likes it. But a while ago, I was learning, quite a few years ago, I was learning a cannibal cards. And I did it to him with the whole story about the K for cannibals and all that. And he really enjoyed it. He said, oh, I like that one because that had more to it. So again, with familiarity, um, we feel contempt, don't we? I know that's not the exact saying, uh, but we do. And we've got to remember actually putting something, a little bit of kind of cheesy humour, and it has got this cheesy humour in it, but playing on that uh, with a kind of knowledge and a knowingness, is, which means the same thing, uh, is, really, is really powerful. And it's a, it's a great trick. And there was also a trick on it, which I can't remember what it was called, which he said was like um, a hidden treasure from... from uh, totally out of control, which is it reminded me of the free piles from you know, Royal Road to Carb Magic. I mean, it was one of these tricks with a bit of process, but it was totally impossible. And when I put it on the Royal Road course in Carb Magic course recently, I actually filmed a version of me doing it. It's a totally self working trick, pretty much. Uh, with Natalie next door, we've seen a load of magic stuff, and she was like, That it was amazing. It was a complete mess. So it it's that kind of thing. It's so impossible. And he said, don't dismiss these things because we see them and we kind of get used to them. And, and absolutely right. It's f full on solid gold. And the last thing is this concept, which I don't want to talk too much about because I really think you should check it out, of a, of a beautiful and pretty much flawless card control. And it's something, you know, I've seen. I remember, I think it was well, uh, the first time I was in Portugal, I think, with... Um, well, there were Pete Waldell, Eric Nordval, Charlie Caper, a couple of people, and they showed me this control, and I, thought, I just could not see it. And it was a version of this, but this he takes to a next level and talks about what the kind of stuff you've got to practice and the commitment that putting into this with the subtleties to make it really impossible. And, and again, it was just a lovely thing to finish on and go, that's absolutely brilliant. And some absolutely stunning stuff on the Zaro shuffle as well, and his sort of this combo Zaro push through thing that he does, um, which again, I think... And, you're not going to learn in many places. He, this is someone that doesn't lecture. Even when I saw him at a session, it wasn't a lecture. It was a kind of a talk and a performance uh, a few years ago. Probably too many that I care to think about. But it's, it, it, it's a real opportunity. And, and this was day one and it was cards. And I felt like every single thing he talked about with a deck of cards was something new to me. And I spend a lot of time with a deck of cards. And I'm super excited about stuff that's happening next week. And when we get into the free fly stuff and the coin stuff, it's... It's brilliant, and there were hints that maybe Home and Leeway doing something, not in this masterclass, but in the future. And I think it's a really exciting thing. So I've, all the masterclasses so far have been brilliant. I, I'm in the middle of watching Harapan's one, which is just at, talk about Zero Shuffle, just really, really good stuff in there, which I will do a review on uh, later. I know I'm kind of doing it the wrong way around, but I wanted to get this out after day one if you're interested to watch it, because you can't learn off something better, uh, someone better in my view. So that's that. Nothing negative to say about it. It's brilliant. So that's, uh, and very funny as well, of course, which makes all the difference. So that's Chris Kenner, uh, Masterclass Live from Vanishing Inc. Links below. You can watch this afterwards. You don't have to go live. And, um, but if you do go live, you'll get a chance to do the Zoom chat on week three or week four. Well, uh, week three, I think. But don't quote me on that because it changes. I think this is a special. Um, and he's doing it on, you know, July the 4th as well, which was another amazing thing for someone from the United States of America. Uh, so there you go. Check it out. It's, uh, it's great. So like and subscribe. Don't want to forget that. Uh, check out carbmagiccourse.com. And sorry, it's so hot in here. My brain just went to mush there for a second. Uh, check out carbmagiccourse.com, carbmagiccourse.com forward slash coal for your spread coal uh, course. And I think it's best I go and have a little nap. Take care. Have a good one. Bye-bye.